This is a video on how to solve simple Kakuro puzzles. Kakuro is shown as a grid divided into groups of white cells separated by dark cells. This is an example. The dark cells immediately to the left of a group of two or more white cells will contain a number showing the sum of the numbers in the white cells. Those numbers must be from 1 to 9 and all be different. Here, the two cells must add up to 13. Likewise, these two cells must add up to 4. Vertical groups are possible. Here, the three cells must add up to 7. The number 7 is shown above the group of cells. As we can see here, there are three different pairs of numbers adding up to 13. 4, 9, 5, 8, and 6, 7. And each can come with the digits in reverse order. So each cell in this group can have any of these six values. This group can only contain the pair 1, 3 or 3, 1. Likewise, this group can only contain 1, 2 or 4. But there are six ways to arrange them. So we can mark each cell with all the possible numbers. So here are the cells in group 1 group 2, and group 3. Note that according to the cells in group 1, it is not possible to have a 1 or a 2. Likewise, according to cells in group 3, it is not possible to have a 5 or above. The second cell of group 1 is therefore 4. Likewise, according to the cells in group 2, it is not possible to have the number 2 or 4. And, according to the cells of group 3, it is not possible to have a 3. Therefore, the only possible choice is 1. It is easy to find the other cells' values after that. We can devise a procedure to solve such puzzles. We can see that each cell is a member of one or two groups. This is group number 1, group number 2, group number 3. We can see that cell A belongs to group number 1 only. Cell B belongs to groups 1 and 3. Cell C belongs to group number 3 only. Cell D belongs to group 2 only. And cell E belongs to groups 2 and 3. And these are the only possible combinations for each group. So cell A in group 1 can only have the values in the set 4 to 9. Cell B in group 1 and 3 can only have the values at the intersection of the set 4 to 9 and 1 to 4, that is, only the number 4. Cell C in group 3 can only have the values 1, 2, or 4. Cell D in group number 2 can only have the values 1 or 3. And cell E in groups 2 and 3 can only have the values at the intersection of sets 1, 3 and 1, 2, 4, that is, the value 1. If we find a cell with an empty set, that is, with no possible value, then the puzzle has no solution. Here's an example of a puzzle with no solution at all. The two sets 1, 2 and 7, 9 have no common value. We can further reduce the sets by marking the puzzle with single possibility cells and recomputing the new sum and sets for each group they belong to. For example, when cell B is marked as 4, its groups 1 and 3 are modified not to include 4 anymore, and their new sets are recomputed. Group 1 becomes 9, and group 3 becomes 1, 2. Careful though. Here is an example with no solution. Yet, if we follow the steps, we can see that we can be fooled into taking improper decisions. So here is the complete procedure. Find the groups and their sums, find each cell identification, the groups they belong to, and the possible values for each one of them. If one of the cells has no possible value, then the puzzle is unsolvable. So while there are cells with a unique possibility, find the groups it belongs to. If the cell is in the list of cells already used in these groups, then there is no solution to this puzzle. Reduce their sums by the number assigned to the cell. Remove the number from the list and recompute the list of possibilities. 
recompute the possibilities for each cell left. Any cell untouched is ambiguous and we've reached the end of the procedure. If you want to see a computer program that can solve Kakuro puzzles following this procedure, click on the link below. And don't forget to have fun. Bye.